you are going to learn about saving a plot in matplotlib so once you have done with all the plottings two dimensional three dimensional images and everything now it's time to save those images so that it can be produced as a result for some kind of presentation or maybe uh, for your future reference right make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for all our future video updates matplotlib provide us with a feature where we can save the data uh, in either png or pdf format however there are other methods but these are the most popular methods to save or store a data especially the plot as a image in the png file or a pdf file right so we'll see using our jupyter notebook how to include a script so that it will saved as a png file or as a pdf file all right okay so i am into my jupyter notebook as usual you have seen these kind of examples so i have taken this example from our course only it is as simple as it like you have to use all the variables that you have used in order to create a plot right after creating plot just we have to use one command called save fig this is a pyplot command so you have to write plt dot save fig you have to name your file let's say i'm naming it as uh, my file my fig and dot png so we have to specify the format that in which format we want to store the file right and when once you do this the file that is generated will be of 800 by 600 pixels and they are 8 bit in colors so we'll quickly see it so once you execute this code now this file has been shown here as well as a copy of this has been saved as a myfig.png i'll show you where so as you can see here the file with my underscore fig.png has been generated and if i double click and open this file it looks like this so you have stored your file as a png format right okay now let's move on to the second example where we will see how we can set the dpi so if you know about the dpi it's like high resolution or dots per inches right by default the dpi value is 100 but we can change it so how we will change it let's see so write any example that you want and generate a figure plot using pyplot and then use the same command save fig right and decide any name for your file and dot extension okay and then set the dpi using dpi equal to 300 so once you set this dpi to 300 without setting this dpi image used to be stored as a 800 by 600 pixel right because dpi was 100 now in this case if you set the dpi to 300 the image that will be stored now is with 2400 by 1800 pixels right so this advantage we get a high resolution images so that it's easy for us to project even on the higher resolution uh, screens all right so we'll execute and see the result okay this is the result however you can choose not to display the images it depends on you because anyway without displaying also this command will store the file with this name and this extension right and now you can check the file which is generated out of matplotlib and you can see here right so y1 and y2 over t1 right and if i open it and you can see this is high resolution image if you have stored this one as with the default dpi of 100 it would not have been so um, prominent right this is having high resolution all right now we have an option another option that with the transparency so sometime it is required to store image so that you can put it over any kind of background right so that background will be acquired by that image in order to do that it's a simple method that you can uh, pass which is called transparent and you can pass this transparent argument equal to true by default it is false so when you set transparent equal to true this will create an image with transparency right so i'm giving it name as y1 y2 over t1 right and just run it now this image will be stored as a transparent image okay we'll see now how it is stored so here is the image which is y1 y2 over t1 so this is a transparent image i mean if you can put it over any of the background it will acquire the background okay 
we'll see the last option um, p to store in a PDF format. So as you have seen in the 3D plot generation, we have generated a 3D surface, right? So I have just copied the complete code from there. And in order to save it as a PDF format, so the plot will be saved as a PDF, PDF format. Whatever 3D uh, plot that is generated will be saved as a PDF format. So in order to save it as a PDF format, you have to use the same command plt.savefig and instead of png, you have to define PDF, right? You give a name it name to your file and then specify the format as PDF. Okay. And once we execute it, it will store, right? 3D surface.pdf will be created in the directory. Let's see there. And as you can see here, 3D surface.pdf. And if you double click, you can see this has been generated, a PDF has been generated with this image. Alright? These are the way you you can store your plot as a PNG format image or a PDF format, right? With various custom options like DPI, transparency. I hope you understand and this is going to be very useful because um, you'll be requiring this a lot of time in order to save all your work and keep it for future reference. Alright? So thank you so much for being with me in this course. I hope you enjoy this course and uh, definitely for any of your queries you can put the put them in the course section and i'll be there to help you out and also make sure to check out the github repository where all the codes for this course is available and uh, i wish you all the best in your future endeavor and thank you so much for being with me in this course keep learning and keep growing